Directing commercials is one of the most competitive fields out there. You literally have to shoot your way in. In our last episode, we met our group of energetic filmmakers, each one determined to become the next hot commercial director. In this episode, we'll follow two of our directors, Jim and Scott, as they shoot their first spots. Okay, ready, and action. We'll see an invitation to the Mile High Club and how one teenager deals with his cheerleader fantasy. Welcome to Spotlight. I personally am always looking to find what's the next best thing. Who's some new new talent that is undiscovered? Even though there are a million people trying to do it, there's always room for another person. Uh, even when there are people doing it well, there's an, always a new way, a new point of view that you can introduce. Out of around 570 scripts, the Baby Ruth cheer spot just jumped right out of me. When you see the spot, and then you see the tagline, savor the good stuff. It makes so much sense. The spot is a spot for Berlitz uh, language tapes. This guy, do you have any commercial experience? Do you speak any foreign languages? So you read the script, so you know what she's offering, right? Yes. yes. <laughs> This project is part of a program that I'm in, okay. and uh, we're, we're shooting some behind-the-scenes footage of what it takes to go through this program. Mm -hmm. Are you okay with being filmed during your audition for the program? Um, not really, but what's the program, the program uh, about? Aspiring directors okay. who are trying to get into commercial directing. Okay. We shoot a spec spot a month for okay. three months. Okay. At the end of each month, agency people and production company people critique the spots. Okay. So. They're doing a little behind the scenes of what it takes to make these spots. Shall we turn off the camera or are you okay with... Let's go. Let's, Let's go. Shoot. Okay, good. The location and the one lead cheerleader were locked the Friday before we shot that Sunday. <sighs> Filmmaking is not a small endeavor. It was totally ridiculous. The, the three big things right now hanging are location, casting, The thing that I look for in casting is that the, the actor already gets the material and already is very close to what I want to see on camera. You see how you, if you're looking right at me right now, that's what you want toward camera. Okay. Well, it was really important to me that the kid in the Babe Ruth spot not be creepy. Like, the, the, the character breakdown for the kid has to be able to believably play 15 it's very interesting that people would come to a casting session with like a bunch of stubble and they're supposed to be playing a 15 year old. Sean Osmus was our actor um, and he just had it. There had to be a connection there. And that connection had to be with one particular cheerleader. I'm casting fatigue after only three hours. Elsa. Wow. When I got Elsa's headshot, it was basically settled that she would be the girl that makes the connection with him. stewardess who offers an invitation to the Mile High Club and unfortunately our unsuspecting hero has not used the Berlitz tapes and doesn't know what he's missing. But I love everything you're doing, I just need it together. Okay. Like the, even the second look, like, did I? Did you like that? I, did that ring? Yeah. I like that. I think I like that the best. Okay. And so where we are right now is we're in Air Hollywood, and uh, this is the airplane that I've rented, and that's my wife and baby trying to get in the shot. Well, you can see where this much mortgage is going. Yeah. 
great. We're laughing now. We'll be crying later. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's two minutes, Scott. Two minutes. How do you say it? Combien ça coûte? You got that? You got that? Combien ça coûte? It's understood. Ça fait combien? Combien? That means how much is it? Hey guys, here we go, here we go, getting ready to go. Uh, the crew, which is a, a completely professional crew, are just very excited about the spot and they love the concept and they love the location and they love that it's not a student film being treated like a student film. It's being treated by it like a professional shoot and they love and respect the fact that we're working as hard as we can to do something good and do it right and do it real. Je voudrais être seul avec toi. She asked if you'd like to join the club. Je voudrais dénouer. You said, I like nuts. Register today and get a free Berlitz phrase book. Berlitz, the best way to learn a new language. Starting a new career is never easy. This week, our directors began digging into their savings begging favors to start shooting their spots. When they were done, they showed their commitment and confidence by inviting criticism from the top. We met with the kind folks at DDB Advertising in Venice. In a room filled with award-winning creatives and creative directors, producers, and potential employers, the gloves came You gotta on. assume your audience is smart. Just think you've got half a spot. I think it was a really funny concept. Figure out a way to blow it up, frame it differently. I know you guys are looking for um, comments on how to put a reel together, but I think the conversation with the is also very yeah. important. Bottom line is we still have to sell a product at the end of the day. We still have a few plans to answer to. It wasn't always pretty, but it's honest. And this is how you grow. If you're curious about how this works, please visit our site at thespotlab.com. Stay tuned for our next episode, where you'll meet two more filmmakers, one braving the wild streets of downtown LA, and the other enduring one of the longest trips to location we've heard of, all the way to base camp Mount Everest. This is Spotlight.